Well, I've got more news pertaining to the Qatari 2022 World Cup. Uh, in this case, it's another really great example of the very strong pushback against the liberal Western cultural imperialism by the you know woke Western liberals who think that their values are somehow universal and everyone else must accept it and be forced to just have this stuff pushed on them. But uh, Qatari, uh, the Qatari World Cup bucked that trend of this being allowed to happen. And this is a funny little case where some Qatari uh, pundits were actually making fun of the, the woke Germany's, uh, the German team essentially in the World Cup. Uh, it says here on Breitbart, I'll just read the article, uh, Qatari broadcasters mock woke Germany's early exit from the World Cup. If you don't know what happened, Germany uh, just did this really embarrassing display of, of just Western liberal degeneracy, uh, just pushing the LGBT ideology on uh, Qatar. And essentially, which isn't surprising when you consider the fact that the modern homosexual rights movement was uh, birthed in Germany. But basically, the German team lost and then did something where they were like, I guess, uh, I don't know how they but they covered their mouths with some kind of LGBT thing or whatever. It was it was really just an embarrassing display whatsoever. But, uh, and Guattara is just mocking the whole thing and rightfully so because it is just truly uh, an example of just the, the absolutely just pathetic uh, pushing of this kind of stuff and the attempts of the, how these Western liberals try to display their degeneracy. And it's not just Qatar. I mean, Russia has off, often had this stuff pushed on them as well, uh, but they pushed back as well. But it says here in the article, our present, presenters on a state-run Qatari sports network amuse themselves at Germany's disappointing early exit from the World Cup by covering their mouths and waving goodbye, apparently mocking the pro-LGBT protests carried out by the German team last month. Yeah. It says, following the sensational, the, the sensational defeat of Spain by Japan, the typically strong performing Germany was eliminated from the contention after just the first round of the World Cup. The downfall of Germany was met by uh, an exuberance from the Qatari broadcasting team on the state-run Alcas Sports Channel. This is, this is hilarious. Check out, what, check out what they basically did. It's hilarious what they did, I'll put it that way. Uh, in the clip, presenters could be seen waving goodbye while, full, uh, while holding uh, their other hands uh, over their mouths. The gesture was apparently mocking the reference to the German national team posing, uh, posing with their hands over their mouths last month in a protest against FIFA's decision to block them from wearing pro-LGBT rainbow armbands in the Islamist kingdom. The German Football Association had initially threatened to sue uh, FIFA over the decision citing loss of domestic sponsorship with the uh, supermarket chain REWE cutting ties with the DFB over the issue. However, no such lawsuit has been put forward as of yet. Yeah, because it's their country, their rules. If you don't like it, don't go to their country. You know, but this German uh, LGBT, especially these Western cultural imperialists, have to just force their ideology upon everybody. Okay, the dog is going at it again. All right, continuing on, sorry about the interruption here from the dog. He barks ridiculously loudly, but uh, continuing on in the article of just this embarrassing display by the by the woke German LGBT liberal cultural imperialists and how Qatar is just totally making fun of the whole thing, rightfully so. Uh, it says here in the article in Breitbart, the German national team was not alone in condemning the Sharia state over its LGBT rights issues, with the German government's far-left interior ministry, uh, minister Nancy Pfizer, uh, bulking at Qataris, at Qataris by wearing the prohibited ban to a match last month. The cabinet minister, who has been linked to the far-left Antifa movement, uh, reportedly hid the rainbow band under her uh, blazer when entering the stadium. Uh, defending her breach of the hosting country's rules, Fraser said that such symbols should be openly shown. It's their country, their rules. You're in their country, you gotta follow their rules. Just like you'd want them to follow your rules in your country, you know. But you see, this this kind of mentality of, of, of their values somehow just forcing their values as being universal, you know. And, and good for them for telling her to put it off, because it's their country, their rules. It's not part of their culture. Neither is it part of, you know, my home country of Russia, our culture, you know. If you don't like it, don't go to someone's country then. Don't force your ideology. But And, and this is a precisely why anti-Western sentiment is so widespread. Because these degenerate, you know, Western liberal just want to force their decadence upon everybody. You know? And the result of that is they just get pushback, and rightfully so. And they're wondering, why are we getting pushback? Maybe because you're forcing your decadent LGBT degeneracy upon everybody else when it's being, after being specifically told it's not welcome there and this is what will happen. Then you're acting all surprised that it does happen. You know? bunch of garbage uh but you know good for Qatar for making fun of the whole thing because it is just a bunch of it's a it's a bunch of garbage it's a joke and these these western liberal uh, cultural lgbt imperialists just don't get it they never learn and they will continue to not learn as long as they just keep thinking their values are somehow universal so anyway 
that's the whole crux of the matter. Uh, don't be deceived by all this, uh, essentially, criticism of Qatar over something they got right. I'll put it that way. Uh, the not accepting of LGBT liberal uh, Western cultural imperialism. Again, not pro-Islam. I'm not in any way defending Islam, but hey, a broken clock is right twice a day. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.